welcome. In this video, we're gonna look at how to buy a domain name inside of Google Domains. And this is one of my favorite platforms because it integrates with G Suite and allows me to have a business domain email and just a few clicks of a button. So let's go ahead and get into it. As you can see, I'm on Google Domains right now, but I'm going to suggest you go to instantdomainsearch.com so you can check to see if your domain name is even available. So I've got binge work tutorials and you can see that it's green, so it is available. The next thing that I'm gonna to recommend to you is to go over to Name Checker, and that's spelled N-A-M-C-H-E-C-K-R.com. Go to namechecker.com and put in the same thing and see if it's actually available on all of the other platforms as well. And as you can see for a couple of them, it's not, and that's a tool issue. So what you'd wanna do is just go over to YouTube or any of the others that you really would wanna be on and then check to see if that domain extension or that YouTube extension is gone. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into purchasing the domain name. What you're gonna to wanna to do is first make sure you have a Gmail, a personal Gmail. I believe you can use like a Yahoo or a Live or anything else like that, but like I said, it integrates with G Suite, so might as well just keep it all on uh, Google, all right? So once you have an email, you're gonna to go to domains.google.com, and once you sign in, you're gonna come here. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the domain name and you're gonna actually put it in there, and then what you're gonna do is click the .com and you're gonna hit the cart. Once that's done, you're gonna go over to the cart and then you're gonna choose your email. Now, it always starts you on the business standard, but I always choose the business starter because it's six bucks, all right? The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and put in your information, your name, okay? And then you're gonna to want to do something like this where you go ahead and you give the domain name and an email okay so then what's going to happen is i'm going to go ahead and purchase this domain name all right now that we've purchased the domain name what's going to happen in order to set up the email is we're going to get an email inside of your email your personal email that you just set up so what we're going to do is i'm going to open up another tab i'm going to go to my gmail Okay. And here they are. So you're going to get three emails. It's going to be the very first one for your email. So you're going to need to set up your email. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight this temporary password and you're going to go sign into the new email that was just brought over. So we're going to go ahead and hit that. We're going to go ahead and hit that and say, I understand. And then you're going to give yourself a new password, All right? It's going to ask if you want to create a new Chrome profile. I don't. And now you have a brand new domain based email, okay? So now that your Gmail is all set up, you might wanna create a support email, uh, you might wanna create a personal name based email and everything else like that. However, you don't have to spend an additional $6 a month for that. As a matter of fact, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that at no cost.